Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and craft table. Welcome if you're new, so glad to have you here. Today I am going to be making some, well, I'm going to make one leather bookmark. This is a new to me project. I've never done this before, but I recently purchased on Amazon a big pack of faux leather sheets and um, there is just, there are so many and these are super fun. So I thought I would just show you um, some of the patterns and then we will talk about the bookmarks. So in this package, I have, this looks, you know, this really does look like leather. And then on the back, it's like a, like a micro suede or not really a fleece, but it's like a micro suede. So it's a really nice back. This is actually pretty thick and substantial. Then we have um, this beautiful holographic. This makes me just, to me, the screams peacock feathers. That's just absolutely gorgeous. And then, let me move this here. So we've got just brown peb pebble, okay? Brown pebble, and all of these have that same like micro suede-ish type backer, which is nice. Okay, we have a pink holographic. That is wild. Ooh, sorry about that glare, that is crazy. Then we have this one. This is kind of cool. It's It says all kinds of like couture names and stuff. Very, um, very neat, very teenager friendly right there. This one, now this one has almost like a linen back to it. Still very soft. And then this is like, um, like an olive, like an olive green, not really a brown, not really a green, more like an olive green there. And then we have a purple holographic. And then we have just a blue, a light blue, and I don't know if you can see on camera, it has ever so slight, there you go, a little bit, of an embossed feel to it. And, okay, animal print. Ooh, I like that. That is so nice. Okay, then we have a really pretty forest green. We have a buffalo check. A really cute springtime floral, little daisy, spring daisies there. We have a blue glitter. Look how fancy that is. That is like super shiny. And then we have just, it, I would call this uh, not, it's really not pink. It's more like a, like a lilac or a lavender. Well, not really a lavender. It's more like a lilac, really. Um, it is more purple than it is pink, but it has a very small, pebbly embossed feel to it. Okay, and then here's the pink. See, I would say that's lilac, that's pink. So those are very similar. Then um, this is just another brown pebble. Here is a really fun print. I like that kind of animal print, pink flowers. Okay. We have a pink glitter. And then we have this really sweet um, floral pattern here, which I'm actually going to be using this floral pattern today. But I just wanted to show you, it's a, it literally is, it really does say eight and a half by 12 random. So all of these are, are eight, sorry, eight by 12, not eight and a half but it's just a random pack of faux leather, so you don't really know what you're getting. And I will link this down in the description for you. Today is I want to make a bookmark. I'm, I love to read, 
and I can never find a bookmark. So I'm going to make a bookmark. I'm going to use faux leather. Now on the back side of the leather, on this micro suede, I am going to put some like blue, well it's more like, yeah, it's like a baby blue glitter iron on vinyl. So I do have my Easy Press Mini here, out here to the side. And that will just give my bookmark a very clean and finished look. Now I don't have tassels for my bookmarks yet, which is fine by me. Um, I am going to go ahead and have the, the little uh, center hole cut out so that I can add the tassels at a later time. And let's see, I've got a just like a Teflon, a piece of Teflon sheet. Um, I actually got, well, it's called Copper Oven Liner. Withstands heat up to 500. And this actually came from the Dollar Tree, and I thought I would just try it out. I wanted to have some sort of, um, normally I use parchment paper or butcher paper, but I wanted to have something like this uh, as well in my supplies. And then, of course, I have scissors and um, scissors and my tools here. So let's go ahead and head over to Design Space and take a look at the bookmark design, and then we will get the craft cut out. In Design Space, I simply brought up a new canvas, and then I went to projects, and I just searched up bookmarks. And you, once you search up bookmark, you are going to get a ton of projects that you can pull into your canvas and recreate for yourself. And there's some here that are super fun, different layered, um, lots of scrap busters. There's some that looks like they're on acrylic. Some are um, like cutaway. So those are pretty fun. But what I did is I just wanted to get a basic bookmark. So the, this here is um, 2.27 wide and eight inches tall. And it already has the little um, scalloped top, the rounded bottom edge, and then it's got the circle here for the tassel. So I brought this in and then I duplicated it. The pink is going to be the floral pattern. The blue will be the glitter iron-on. And if you want to, you actually can make your own bookmark. You just go over to shapes. I would probably do something like a square and I'm gonna change the size, 2.27 by eight. So it would look like this. And then, okay, so actually I did by seven. And then I go back into my shapes and then I would want something, you know, maybe I want something like that to fit at the top, flip it vertical, make it 2.27 wide, just like the other one. And, and then I would bring it up like this. Okay, so I'm, the, the uh, rounded feature isn't so elongated like it was a minute ago. So I would put that together like that. And then what I would do is I would align or center horizontally just like this. And while they're both selected, I would come down here to combine and go to weld. So now I have my bookmark, and then I can go into shapes one more time, click on a circle, and I really wanna make that circle pretty small. So I'm gonna do like 0.25. So then I would move the bookmark and the little circle, and then I'd uh, grab both of them, select both of them, and then I want to center horizontally, and then I would probably just do attach Okay, and so now here is my bookmark with the circle. I'm going to leave this here in this file, and what I'm going to do is link the design space project here. I'm going to link that down in the description for you so that you can do these particular bookmarks if you would like. Just They're just basic bookmark shapes. Okay, so I will leave this one in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and hide it for now. 
before we go to the make screen, I just want to show you that you actually have a couple of options. Option one is to go ahead and work with these just like this, where I have the iron on here and I have the faux leather here. And I can have my maker cut out both of these and then I can line them up and then I can fuse the um, iron on onto the back of the leather bookmark. Okay, so that is one way to work it. The other way to work it is to actually go ahead and just go ahead and cut with my scissors a size of the um, bookmark that I want. So I would probably pick um, two and a half by eight and a half. Go ahead and I would cut out both of those just with my scissors, little rectangles, and then iron them together and then put one bookmark total on my mat. So there's, you know, two different ways you could work that. So let's do both as an example. And that way you can see which possible way you like to work it best. So let's go to the overhead camera really quick and prepare our leather. I have brought in my press mat and I have my little uh, Teflon sheet there. So option one is to let the maker cut both of these out and then iron them together after the cutting. So that's one thing to do and I'm going to get a, another um, set of bookmarks for us to do that. And But this one here in particular, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut and I want to do, um, let's see, I wanna do about two and a half Okay. Oh, and I have my Easy Press Mini. I have that set at um, the low. So it's just one wavy line. Do, what did I say? I said eight. So I want to do about eight and a half. So, okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And actually, since I cut that a little wonky, I'm going to go ahead and cut my adhesive or my iron on vinyl in the same manner. So we're going to do one bookmark where we iron them together first before. Okay, we're going to iron them together first before. So that'll be those. I think I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to allow the um, maker to cut the bookmarks out of this for both of them. And so let's see, this particular portion here, that will work for the glitter. And then I'm gonna need a portion, let's see. Oh, wow, that looks good. Okay. Right, and then I just want a little bit here. Now you could totally put both sheets full on your mat and then just maybe save um, your material, as much material as you want. So this will be cut out by the maker and then we will iron on. Here we are going to iron on first and then we're gonna compare and see if which possible way is better. I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna bring this in because I don't want my mat to get any glitter iron on in case I have these wonky. Okay, and then I'm simply going to move this around 
and we're doing low heat and it's about 30 seconds but I'm gonna just monitor the project as I go okay and then just let that sit for just a second pull that heat out this is cool now and I am just going to lift up this carrier sheet okay so just like that and then I am going to along these edges I'm going to go back around I want another I want a really good firm um, adhesion so I'm going to use this smaller Teflon here So I'm mainly just going around and getting these edges. Okay, so I'm going to let this cool off for just a moment. Now that this is cool, I'm going to go ahead and I want to get everything ready for the mat. So a couple of things that need to happen. Now, this is the glitter and the uh, leather that we have bonded together, okay? And, you know, so far I don't see anything coming apart. And what, I'm get, what I always do with my faux leather is I always put it with the pretty side down and the back side facing up, and then I I don't have the strong grip mat. I just use my standard grip mat. And I do use some painter's tape to just hold down the edges to make sure that it doesn't move. And it works fine and I haven't had any issues so far. So I'm going to need to cut the faux leather. Then I'm going to cut the adhesive, the iron-on vinyl, sorry. The iron on vinyl and again I want the shiny side the pretty side down just like always okay and get that cut out so that we can iron those on after the fact and then these two here are already fused together so I will again put the faux leather side down and I'm going to have the maker cut out all of this at one time all right so Let's go ahead and talk about the design space um, settings for cutting these materials. In design space, here's what I'm going to do. Um, this pink bookmark will be the one that is already ironed together. Okay, so it has the faux leather on one side and the iron on vinyl on the other. This will be the iron on vinyl, the blue glitter. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and I'm going to change the color to like a white and this will be the other faux leather so these two will get ironed on together at the same time at the end and this one is already ready so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our make screen then we're going to start cutting our uh, leather out so this is the that white shiny holographic leather and I'm going to put the faux leather with the pretty side down and I'm going to put it right here in this corner and I'm going to tape around the edges with some painters tape okay or actually I think what I'll do is maybe I'll move it here that way I can put my I can bring it a little bit off the edge and then my tape will be around okay so I'm gonna put that there and my second mat I'm gonna do the same thing now this one is the one that is both layers already together so that will be a different setting as well and then our third one okay so they're all three where I want them I'm going to go back to my first mat and I'm going to hit continue. For my first mat, I'm going to go to browse all materials. 
I'm going to type in leather. And I tend to just use the genuine leather setting. Um, it works for me. You can definitely try out um, shimmer or paper thin leather. I just default to genuine leather and it seems to work well. And then I'm going to click done. And I also tend to do more pressure, okay? Now, you'll notice that when you use the genuine leather setting, that it wants you to load in your deep point blade. If you do not have a deep point blade, then I would not iron them together to start. I would go back to, let me go back here to leather, and then I would just do faux leather, okay? All right, there we go. And I want to hit done, okay? And you'll notice that the faux leather setting has the fine point blade, so that is definitely an option. And then I would do more pressure, okay? But I tend to just do everything on the genuine leather setting because I do have the deep point blade. When you go to your pink mat, now this is the one where I will absolutely do the genuine leather and have my deep point blade in the machine. This is the one that will cut both of them out. And then for this third mat, that is going to be my iron on, okay? And that will also be a fine point blade setting. All right, so let's go ahead and get these cut out. I have everything cut out and just another little tip. First of all, ignore the really wo uh, wonkiness of my painter's tape. But what I did is I took my faux leather, placed it face down, put some um, painter's tape around just so I could make sure that it didn't move and if you get a little too close like I did, it will cut your, your painter's tape, but no big deal, it comes right off. So this is my faux leather cut out, looks great. Okay, and then I turned the mat around and in the same position over here, I put the one that was already ironed together. So again, if you're gonna do two layers, then you will need the deep point blade and you'll use the genuine leather setting. So that's this one here. And this came out really, really nicely. Then prior to all of that, I had done the, um, the iron-on vinyl in glitter. And a lot of times I have trouble with my iron-on, especially the glitter patterns. So I like to fold here and here and so I can see all of this excess and that allows me to simply cut away because I can use this glitter iron on on other projects and I'll just set that aside and then I can weed this out pretty easily so let me put these here and Just going to weed off the surrounding piece here and take out that little circle in the middle because we don't want to iron that onto anything. Okay, so I'm going to set that right. I'm going to set this one here. So this is the one that we've already made. Now this one here, we are going, I'm going to bring this back in just to protect my mat. But Essentially, I'm going to line these up. So if you are someone who only has the fine point blade, you would cut both of your pieces, okay? And then you would line them up like this. I'm gonna make sure that everything's lined up perfectly. And then again on low, and I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna press and get this all down on that leather. 
I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to put my Teflon sheet there and just kind of go over this side. I think that is good. And now I'm going to move all of that out of the way and I'm just going to let this sit here for just a second and cool off. Now, something that you will notice, actually it's quite cool already just putting it on the glass mat, is right here. I am a little bit off, so I'm going to be taking my True Control knife and I'm going to go along this edge and just cut away that uh, iron-on vinyl, okay? But it does look good everywhere else, okay? So that's this is great. This worked perfectly. I'm just a little bit off, and the benefit of, I would say, I could tell the benefit of ironing first so that that is not an issue and I'm just going to go ahead and cut here on my glass mat very carefully just like this it's going to go along this edge And being very careful not to cut into the leather or my fingers for that matter so we've done this particular project two different ways and both ways are completely valid and easy to do I would say that the only issue would be if you have a deep point blade, that's the one with the black housing, if you have the deep point blade, then I would absolutely iron them first and then it'll cut out all at once. So this is my bookmark here. I am super excited about having this really pretty bookmark. And then this one here, just as beautiful, just as nice, okay? And I cut both elements separately. So we had our faux leather, we had our glitter iron on, cut separately, and then uh, easy pressed them together at the end. So I just had to trim off a little excess. But this is great, I love this. Um, that is actually the end of this particular project. I hope that you found this video was informative and inspiring. Go ahead and hit that like button and share with your crafty friends and be sure to make some bookmarks for the book lovers in your life. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when new content is posted. But until I see you in the next video, as always, enjoy your day and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.